Hi, Lex from Hopsworks here, and today we're going to explore the concept of the Feature Store. What it is, how it works. Feature Store first emerged in around 2017 in uh, hyperscaler startups to help them manage features. In short, they needed a way to bring more models to production faster, and they had to build a platform and abstractions to help them do so. Today, and while they might have different names in different organizations, they are used by most of the Fortune 500 companies and a wide range of hyperscalers. They have become pivotal uh, as piece of infrastructure for the AI and data, and they help maintain, train, and improve models. So first, what are those features we are talking about anyways? Well, features are essentially the data for AI. They are the measurable input, the source, used by the model for both training and prediction. As such, they are often considered or referred to as the fuel for AI. The easiest way to represent features is usually as columns uh, in a table. Uh, those columns could be the monthly purchase, churn, uh, customer's profile, or any other significant signal that could help a model or help build a model. The features are used during all the stages of the ML life cycles. So managing the data, those features, is a significant challenge in machine learning, particularly as they need to be organized, stored, and readily available for the models. This is where the Feature Store comes in. It's a platform that manages, stores, and provides access to both uh, historical and real-time features. All the data that is needed by the model for the model to either be trained or to make predictions. Now that we have a sense of uh, what are features and what is a Feature Store, uh, we, we can probably consider who does it help. Well, as a collaborative platform, it is mostly catered to data scientists, ML engineers, and data engineers. In essence, the Feature Store is at the crossroad, as the, at the intersection between all the decision makers in an organization, in an organization working with AI and ML. And it is often the responsibility of those professionals to operationalize models at scale. In other words, to make more models and to put them into production as quickly as possible. Again, this is where the Feature Store steps in. The value of the Feature Store lies in its ability to bridge the gap between different stages of the model lifecycle and the many stakeholders involved. From creating features from raw data and ingest it, to providing that new data for the training of the model, and finally making predictions on new data. Each stage belongs to a different team or demands a different set of skills. The Feature Store removes those barriers between teams, data, and operation. And that's not it, as connecting those stages also simplifies the operationalization of ML models, which in turn brings efficiency, scalability, and smoother collaboration. The modern Feature Store facilitated, most importantly, the reuse of features which can take a lot of efforts to be engineered and can represent sometimes around 80% of the time spent on building a model. So ensuring the correctness, whether in training or during inference, the prediction, in batch or online, is paramount. And being able to reuse them is a significant advantage. In a nutshell, a feature store is a data platform that connects different ML pipelines, streamlining machine learning operations, to bring the models that bring value to the organization to life faster. And if you want to get started easily with a feature store, consider using Hopsworks serverless. It's free, Python native, demands no infrastructure. And that's it for our video on the feature store. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.